Hello YouTube and welcome to another general vlog video. Today we're going to be working on a running commode. If you guys can hear it, if you guys can even see down here in the commode that you can see the water moving in there. You see it, how it's rippling back and forth. That means that we have a running commode. So first and foremost, the first thing that we're going to do is take the lid off. I can still hear it running and I can see what the problem is going to be now um, if you can see let's see I don't know how good you guys can see in here let me turn this thing down a little bit where I can bring you guys in and show you hold on just a second let me go get a light that might be easy. okay now I'm gonna to try to bring you guys back up in here and show you if you can see right here where I'm shining this light, it's a little valve. If you can see right down in here, you can see the water is still trickling over that. So that's what it is. So basically, what we have here is this little plunger system here. And we need to adjust it. So I already know by doing many of these that you know I'm going to want to go to the left see as soon as I push down on that water starts running again I want to go down to the left and I'm going to go oh, I don't know seven or eight turns and then I'm going to flush the commode and we'll see where it fills back up into meanwhile let's get you back up on here and I'll try to explain to you. Now, if you've seen mine, I have a little bit of a different... There are older styles, I guess it would be an easier thing to say. And you'll have a metal rod. A lot of times it's like a brass rod with a ball on the end of it. Now, that doesn't necessarily... It does have... Some of them have adjustments, some of them don't. But the easiest way to adjust those is that ball, as it goes down stops the water so as the water rises up it'll raise that ball up up to here and then that ball comes up enough that it cuts the water supply off now i just heard mine cut off we'll get to that here in just a second so basically the easiest way to do those is if it's running and you can see you can open it up you seen that tube where i was shining that light your tube is probably just going to be hollow on the end it's not going to have a cap if you can see water going in there, that's why your commode is running. Take and bend that bar just ever so slightly, flush the commode, bring it back up, and see if water continues. If it does, take and bend that just slightly, you know, I'm over exaggerating, just slightly a little bit more, and try it. Eventually you'll get it down there enough to where the water level will come up where it needs to be, and it'll shut that ball off, which will raise that ball, which will shut your water off. Uh, and once it does that, then your commode will no longer run. Now, there are many different reasons why your commode can run. Uh, your whole apparatus that fills could be clogged up, could be bad. Uh, sometimes you can get in there and just grab the ball or the little float that this has got, which I'll show you more here in just a second. And you can go up and down on it a couple times. And it'll break free whatever's loose, whatever's hard water. You know, hard water is probably the worst with it because the rust buildup and the calcium buildup can cause things not to work right. But a lot of times it's just out of adjustment. And that's what it was in my case. I'm looking now, I'm going to shine my light down in there. So, yeah, I'm about a quarter of an inch away from the top now. And I do not hear it running, which is an awesome thing. That's all it was on mine. How it got unadjusted. I'll never know. The commode isn't that old, you know, a uh, couple years old. But that solved the problem on my case. I told you how to do the kind, the other kind. Uh, there's many things. I have actually gone to customers' houses, and they'll put those scented things that you put down inside. I've actually had them roll in. And I guess just let me get you down in here. I'm going to actually take this off the tripod. Let me get you where we can get right down in here. And I'll try to grab the light and point. 
let me move this lid so I can sit down to where I can show you guys completely what I'm talking about uh, without breaking this lid. Alright, that's going to be kind of hard to do. So let me set it down flat. Alright, there we go. So, that little flapper right there. Um, I think I'm going to be better off to point. That flapper right there. Things can get hung underneath that. And if it does, hear that? Okay, this over here is what I was telling you about. Let me switch hands here. This over here is what I was talking about. That sometimes you can just work this up and down. Let me get you right on it. Sometimes you can just work that up and down and break that sediment. Look down. Oh, and now mine's running. I want to make sure that that's going to go back off. And it did. It brought it right back up. Look down in the bottom of mine here. See all the sediments down in the bottom? That's rust build up. This commode is probably, it's way less than two years old. I'm going to say it's just a little over a year old. And that has already happened. So, there could be something hung up underneath your flap, which is right down there, which we've talked about. You can see the flap move by doing this. That's your flap. <clears throat> your little thing here that rides up and down can be stuck so just shake it up and down a couple times this could be out of adjustment this is how you adjust this one you push down on this and you go in let me switch hands because I can't really do anything with that hand and get you down here on the subject and I'm going to adjust mine a little bit better and now you can see this is very hard to do to film. So let me go ahead and flush this again and we'll see where it runs to. I want it to really stop about, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but I want it to stop really about right in here. Just right where that flange starts. And we'll see it's, it's almost there. It's filling up. I, I sure hope you guys can see what I see. There you go. That's a little bit better of a view. Get you inside my toilet. Nope, it's going up a little past that flange. Oh, but it brought it up just right on that flange. So I am absolutely okay with that. So those are a few things that can be your problem. Like I said, you may have to replace this whole apparatus right here. The float system. This is the float and fill, the F and F. Uh, you may have to replace that and it's really easy to do you would just hopefully you got a water cut off like I've got down here once again it's hard to film and then you would drain all the water out and you would take that out and you would replace it it's really for a person that's never done it before it might be a 15-20 minute job but even if it's a 30 minute job to hire a plumber is roughly always go by about a hundred dollars an hour so it's going to be a minimum of one hour and you're going to have to buy the part he's going to bill you separately for that so you figure that's a twenty two dollar piece and he's going to charge you a hundred hundred dollars he's going to do it in 15 minutes but he's going to charge you for that hour uh, so you're looking at $130 to fix that on something that you can fix. You can honestly buy those valves for about $12 and put it in in 15 minutes yourself and you saved your money. But chances are, if you'll do what I've told you to do, that's normally what, what the problem is. So, and you can always tell, and I'll bring you back over here and please forgive me if I've not cleaned my toilet out perfectly. You can come up here and you can see that the water is not moving. The water is absolutely still down in there. So that right there tells me that my toilet is no longer running and I don't hear it. I was actually laying in bed watching TV and I paused it because my phone was ringing 
and I answered the phone. And when I got off the phone, I didn't unpause the TV real quick, and I was looking at Facebook, and I kept hearing something. Like, what is that noise? Oh, there's water running. I thought maybe I left a faucet running. Come in here, and it was that, and it was that simple to fix. So there's your maintenance Monday. Uh, I hope you guys really enjoy these. I enjoy sharing them with you. I think next week, I'll try to back the camera up just a little bit here. I think next week we're going to do some preventative maintenance on the furnace, showing you how to change the filter, showing you how to keep it cleaned out, uh, some tricks and tips and stuff that I've got on those. I think we're going to do that. I've got a bunch more coming. So I keep seeing something on my wall. Oh no, it's actually something on the camera. So you guys probably can't see it. I, right there on my camera, there's something, which would be right there. But anyways, that is it. This is General Vlog Video. Please like, give us a thumbs up, subscribe down, subscribe. Please subscribe and then hit that bell notification and click all so you'll be notified every time we post a new video and comment down below and let us know what you think about this and maybe some of the maintenance uh, Monday videos that you might want to see and I'll try to add them on here and I hope you guys have a great day and even better tomorrow and an awesome night and I might be able to be my own plumber and fix my own toilet and save a ton of money well, in this case, at least $100. But I'm still my own cameraman. So you know what that means. We get to get up close and personal while I poke you in the ear to turn the camera off. So we'll see you on the next video. Hope you guys have a great night.